hello in this video i want to show you how to use a debug so let's start i have created a shortcut for this uh, macro enabled excel sheet just double click on this yeah this is our debug uh, home screen you can read this uh, uh, tips uh, basic steps are uh, you can read uh, read user guide carefully before going on track open Microsoft Outlook before running this program Microsoft public Outlook is used to actually say send a mail uh, which is attached with invoice copy to a predefined mail addresses so you can enter your address also and uh, here an instruction to how to use this program is control shift time to start a program and other uh, options you can download a user guide from here also so i am pressing control plus shift plus m this is a login window you have to enter your credentials here i am entering my okay then just click on login the other window is uh, just ignore the other options just click on run button okay here this is the main form of your debug uh, you can see here your uh, username which you have logged into system in one state we, this is a today's date actually it get uh, automatically fetched from your system data and uh, all the options which are enabled actually these options all options are to you have to enter just remember one thing you can't edit invoice number file number challenge number and the totals which are uh, the captions in brown color you can't uh, edit these fields okay mm, so let's start to just let's see how to create a new invoice so just select the address to which you want to build that is a this address is a custom address so i'm selecting a anisha engineering the all address will automatically get faced in actually these addresses are already in my debug to add new ad new address or new custom just click on options you can enter here the all the details and just click on save or you want to edit the uh, address just select that customer name i mean selecting the techno code so i want to edit uh, this is as a in caps so you have to click this edit details is a checkbox now you are able to edit all the fields and just say close yes, i will select this address okay now enter the item sign rate and quantity so things item one description one the item description uh, rate i will take 100 and quantity for four and tax i can get to it point five as you can as you can press the tab key here you will get a new window populated which is for a tax selection just select a tax that is a VAT or service tax whatever you want I am selecting a VAT click ok the, the tax name will get populated here now I am entering the second item that is item 2 yes, I am entering the 50 and 2 for 14% tax enter tab key and I am selecting a service tax 
okay and uh, if you have any other charges like SBA or transport charges as um, you can enter here also entering a 75 as a transport charges and the PO number if you have PO number you have to enter over here challenge number is locked field now I'm entering a PO number as a PO one two three four whatever you have and comment read this is for the internal reference only the comments are not get printed on your invoice copy so this is for a user purpose so as you can see here the invoice number and file number fields are empty and children number is also empty after clicking the generate invoice these fields are get filled with the corresponding numbers and now you can see here the print option is not enabled already that is you can't print this invoice now so click on generate invoice first you have to generate invoice and after generating invoice it will get saved into your database and the print option will get enabled so generate invoice file number created for invoice successfully ok you can see your invoice number here file number and the challenge challenge number is nothing but the invoice numbers it's identical with invoice number you are able to print this invoice so I am printing this invoice I will show you how it get printed out I am not including a challenge copy right now I will show you later so print so this is your invoice copy you can see the all details have been paged automatically this is your invoice number 015 invoice date challenge number PO number and the amounts the VAT and service tax also are on the right place so close this now I am showing you how to include a challenge copy with this invoice so just click on the checkbox include challenge copy and print again it will get printed with your challenge you can see this is your invoice just scroll down see your delivery challenge actually delivery challenge will get printed in a three copies two copies for receivers this is also for receiver and the third copy is for electronic engineers and you can print from there with your printer if you want hard copy so this is all about uh, <coughs> creating invoice and printing new invoice as you can see here printed dash to uh, it means that I have printed this invoice two times one with without challenge and second with with challenge so that's it for uh, new invoice just uh, from next video I will show you how to search your previous invoice and uh, how to edit or void or delete any invoice or uh, generate a generated report in next video thank you